stay here, Lassie. I won't be long. Thanks for coming over, Corey. I have a little personnel problem I was hoping you would handle. Yes, sir. A forester up at Cascade Guard Station. Wes Reed? I understand you know him pretty well. He was on my summer crew a few years back. I recommended him for permanent assignment. He's a good man. He's doing a fine job. One of the best men we have. Due for promotion to assistant ranger real soon. He'll make a good one. Exactly. And that's the problem. This is a transfer request. He wants to be relieved of field duty, he wants a desk job. Well, that doesn't sound like Wes. He explained why? No. But I think the reason is right in here. He got married a few months back. Oh, uh, yes, I was invited to that wedding. I couldn't make it. I was on an assignment back east. This isn't a unique situation, as you know, Corey. It happens all the time. And I generally go along with transfer requests. Don't like to interfere, you know what I mean? Yes, I do. But in this case, I'd like you to interfere for me. Like you said, he's a good man. Grade six already. He takes it rung by rung, there's no telling how far he can go. He backs off now to a desk. He probably never even makes staff. Any questions? Yes, one. Oh? When do I leave? You're on your way out. Nice seeing you again, Wes. Oh, Lassie. How you doing, girl? You're a long way from home. Well, trouble waters are part of my job. You sure shook the supervisor's office up. The simple transfer request happens all the time. Yes, but in this case... Anne! Honey, this is Corey Stewart. Corey, my wife, Anne. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Reed. How do you do? This must be Lassie. First female I've seen in weeks. She's beautiful. I kind of like her. Wes, there's some coffee in the house. I know you two have quite a bit to talk about. Well, I guess I'd better get back to my wifely chores. Come on, Lassie, you can help me. We can gossip over the wash line. Go on, Lassie, lend a hand. Quite a girl, Wes. You're lucky. Come on, let's get that coffee. still stands. I want a transfer. Well, I know you've got your reasons, Wes, and I appreciate them. It's just that uh, I'd like you to give it some more thought. You just don't understand. Oh, yes, I do. This has happened before to a lot of men I know. Go on. You like your job. You're good at it. Your record's way above average. I know that Ann's proud of you. You've got something to say, Corey. 
Why don't you just go ahead and say it? All right, I will. You know, at best, this isn't an easy life for a woman. Any woman. It takes time, just like anything worthwhile takes time. Corey, I, I don't want to lose her. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. We met in San Francisco last spring. <laughs> Big, busy, bustling San Francisco. She was raised there, went to school there. Plays, concerts, the whole thing. Hell, we were married, and I, I bring her to Cascade. Not even a telephone. And our only means of communication with the outside world is the forest radio network. She knew your job before she married you, didn't she? Oh, sure, sure. Uh, don't misunderstand, Corey. Now, she doesn't seem to be lonely. She likes it here, the, the beauty, the tranquility. She's uh, afraid, Corey. She's just afraid. <laughs> It's all right, honey. It's all right. Good girl. I'm all right. We're three. I'm sorry, Mr. Stewart. I was just frightened. No apologies needed, Ann. Okay, MS-56. Come in, please. This is control. Control, this is KMS 56. Go ahead. Wes, this is McMahon. We have an emergency fire call in Spruce Canyon near River Bend. Right, Mac. I'm on my way. KMS 56, clear. <laughs> I'll be fine, Wes. If I give you a hot spot, I'll go with you. Don't worry, we'll be back as soon as possible. You stay, Lassie. I'll leave her with you. She'll be good company. I'll get my hard hat. Maybe you can bake us one of those lemon pies of yours. All right, Wes. Well, you better get going. I'll be all right, really. KMS 56, this is Red Oak. Come in, please. KMS 56, do you read me? KMS 56. KMS 56. Miss Reed, uh, this is Bill Dayton at Red Oak. Is West there? No, he's on fire call in Spruce Canyon. Can you read me clearly? There is some static, but I can hear you. Yeah. The transmitter signal's weak. Power trouble. Could you relay a message for me? I'll do what I can. A couple of hunters up this way were charged by a bear this morning. They wounded it, but it got away. Now, I'll try to track it. Meanwhile, you'd better radio control. Have them notify the Fish and Game Department. Have you got that? Radio control. I've got it. I'll get on that right away. Good. Thanks. Red all clear.
KMS 56. KMS 56. This is Red Oak. K KMS 56. This is Red Oak. Do you read me? Come in, please. I need help. That that wounded bear, it attacked. Do you hear me? Yes. Go ahead. I, I need a doctor. A doctor. KMS 5-6 to control. KMS 5-6 to control. This is urgent. KMS 5-6. This is control. Go ahead. This is Ann Reed. I just spoke to Red Oak Station. Bill Dayton's been attacked by a wounded bear. He needs help. Hold on. Dispatch a doctor to Red Oak Station immediately. Mrs. Reed. I'm still here. We'll get someone started right away. But it's a two-hour drive from here. Do you have a car? Yes, Corey's pickup. Red Oak is just 20 minutes from your station. I know. You'd better get up there as fast as you can. Give whatever first aid possible until the doctor arrives. Mrs. Reed, did you hear me? Yes. Can you start right away? Yes. Tell Dayton we'll have a doctor up there as soon as possible. Good luck. Control clear. Oh. 
outside. Bet I'll tell her, Mac, and I agree with you. She's quite a woman. KMS 56 clear. Bill Dayton's gonna be all right, thanks to you. Well, what happened was like a bad dream. Like it wasn't really me doing it. But you did it, honey. You met a crisis and came through. That's what's important. It's a new beginning, Wes. And I'm really going to try. I know you are. Well, Lassie, it looks like we've got a transfer request to tear up. Come on, girl. I'll take care now, Wes. Thanks, Corey. I'm sorry I didn't have time to make that lemon pie. <laughs> will you take a rain check, Corey? Sure will. Oh. Right. Goodbye, Lassie. Come on, Lassie. 